Montgomery County, Maryland is one of the top rated counties in the state of Maryland and one of the wealthiest counties in America. Now, Montgomery County has received extremely high marks for schools, housing, jobs, diversity, and more. With that kind of resume, you would guess that this county must have some really great places to live. And you'd be right. In this video, we're going to cover the five top places to live in Montgomery County, Maryland. First things first, if you haven't already, please make sure you smash the like button. If you are new to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Montgomery County, Maryland, subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell icon and turn on your notifications so you can make sure you know exactly when we release new videos. Thank you for that. Okay, now, if you're moving or thinking about moving or relocating to Montgomery County, Maryland, or anywhere in the DC area, click the link below to set up a quick call or a Zoom meeting so we can help you make the transition smooth. All right, so to be clear, we'll be discussing the, t the five of the top city slash town in Montgomery County. Now, you should know that our list isn't ranked in any particular order, and these are all great places to consider if you're relocating to Montgomery County, Maryland. With that said, let's begin. So first on our list is Kensington, Maryland. Kensington, Maryland is a Victorian era garden suburb originally designed after Kensington, England mm -hmm, by Brainerd Warner in the late 1800s. Now, it's not a huge area by any means, but it is beloved by its residents, trust me. So local schools in Kensington, Maryland include Rockview Elementary School, also Albert Einstein High School, right? Now, as of this recording, the median sales price for the area is $636,000 and the median days on the market is six. Yikes. Time waits for no one and neither does this market, am I right? <laughs> so, in traditional morning rush hour traffic, it's gonna take between 25 and 50 minutes to get to DC or 18 to 24 minutes to get to Tyson's Corner. Now, when it's time to fly, you've got options. From Kensington, you can hit any of the three major airports in DC with ease. So if you've got an early morning flight to catch, you can drive to Dulles International or Ronald Reagan International Airports in about 30 minutes and Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport is only 30 to 40 minutes away. Kensington offers a unique blend of restaurants and shopping spread over three different areas, plus a year round farmer's market. Okay, the second place on our list of the top places to live in Montgomery County, Maryland is North Potomac, Maryland. Now North Potomac, Maryland is another winner in Montgomery County. This area located near the Potomac River is a baby compared to Kensington, having just been created in, back in 1988. North Potomac is home to some top rated schools as well, including Travilla Elementary School and Stone Mill Elementary School. Now, as of the time of this recording, the median sales price for the area is $680,000 and the median days on the market is seven. Still fast, but at least it's a full week, am I right? In traditional morning rush hour traffic, it's going to take 25 to 50 minutes to get to DC or 18 to 24 minutes to get to right, excuse me, to get to Tyson's Corner. As always, when it's time to fly, you've got options. If you're leaving at 6.30 a.m. to make a flight, your drive from North Potomac to any of the major airports is as follows. Getting to Ronald Reagan National Airport is going to take 30 to 40 minutes. Getting to Dulles International Airport is going to take 30 to 45 minutes. And Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport takes 40 to 50 minutes. Now, you may be happy to know that the indulgent Trader Joe's is located in the nearby Trevilla Shopping Center. And that's only a couple of minutes from a expansive social hub known as Downtown Crown, which offers an incredible mix of nightlife, dining, shopping, and fitness options. Okay, so the third place on our list of the top places to live in Montgomery County, Maryland is Bethesda, Maryland. Now, Bethesda, Maryland is named after the Bethesda Meeting House from the 1800s. Bethesda, Maryland is one of the most affluent 
and highly educated communities in Montgomery County and the United States for that matter when it comes to schools. Bethesda is at the head of the class. A number of top rated schools are in Montgomery County called Bethesda Home, including Burning Tree Elementary and Walt Whitman High School. Now, as of this recording, the median sales for this area are just a few bucks shy of 1.1 at a cool one million ninety five thousand dollars and the median days on the market is 10. so that gives us nearly a week and a half but we need a bit more money to play in this market regarding traffic the normal a.m time to get to tyson's and dc is about the same at 16 to 30 minutes and like other section in montgomery county flying out of bethesda is a breeze so if you're leaving at 6 30 a.m to catch a flight from bethesda your drive time to the major airports is as follows Getting to Reagan National is going to take 20 to 30 minutes. Getting to Dulles International Airport is going to take 26 to 35 minutes. And getting to Baltimore, Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport takes 35 to 45 minutes. If you're looking for things to do in Montgomery County, Maryland, Bethesda has almost anything you can name, including independent cinema, live theater, art galleries, dance studios, live music, comedy shows, a variety of shopping options, and nearly 200 places to eat. So, you can't lose. And while we're talking about Bethesda, uh, we should point out that North Bethesda, or Nobi, is slightly different and a few minutes up the road. It borders Rockville, Maryland, and it has it's really expanded in recent years. One of its most notable attractions is Pike and Rose, which is a premier destination for shopping, dining, and and living and working in North Bethesda. Fourth on our list of the top places to live in Montgomery County, Maryland is Gaithersburg, Maryland. Formerly known as Logtown, Gaithersburg, Maryland is another one of the older places on the list, having become incorporated way back in 1878. However, and they, they made it a town back then, but it wasn't officially a city until 1968. Gaithersburg contains its own set of top rated schools, including Woodfield Elementary School and Dufif Elementary School. As of this recording, the median sales price for the area is $380,000 and median days on the market is nine. Numbers like that could put Gaithersburg high on the radar of anyone thinking about relocating to Montgomery County, Maryland. So if you're leaving at 7.30 a.m. during the week, you can get to Tyson's Corn and 20 to 30 minutes. Going to DC at that time will take around 30 to 45 minutes. Flying is a breeze in this section of Montgomery County because you can hit any of the three major airports in the DC area in 45 minutes or less. So if you got a 6.30, if, rather if you if you leave a 6.30 for a flight from Gaithersburg, you can hit the airports in the, in the following time period. Reagan National, 28 to 35 minutes. Dulles International Airport, 30 to 40 minutes. And Baltimore, Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport is going to take you 35 to 45 minutes. Gaithersburg is known for its International Winter Lights Festival, which begins every year at the end of November. Now, winter is taken care of. For the rest of the year, you can spend that exploring all the popular shopping and dining options at downtown Crown, the Rio, and the Kentlands, all of which are very popular. All right, fifth. On our list of the top places to live in Montgomery County, Maryland, is Chevy Chase, Maryland. So the town of Chevy Chase is a byproduct of two industrious men who brought their mining riches back from the West and started the Chevy Chase Land Company back in the 1890s. Now, like many other areas in Montgomery County, Chevy Chase offers several top rated schools, including Chevy Chase Elementary School and Somerset Elementary School. As of this recording, the median sales price for this area is $908,000 and the median days on the market is fifteen. dollars So that means you could use a little bit more time and a little bit less money to get into the Chevy Chase market. Now, if you're leaving at 7.30 a.m. during the week, you can get to Tyson's in 20 to 30 minutes and DC is going to take 30 to 45 minutes at that time of day. Again, travel to any of the three major airports from Chevy Chase is not difficult at all. So if you're leaving at 6.30 a.m., getting to Ronald Reagan National Airport takes 20 to 35 minutes. Dulles takes 26 to 35 minutes. 
In Baltimore, Washington International, Thurgood Marshall Airport takes 30 to 40 minutes. Look, since you can fly out of any of the three airports in D.C., which is your first choice? How do you rank them? Let us know in the comments. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully it brought you some value. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, okay? And if you have any questions about cities and towns in Montgomery County, Maryland, or the D.C. area, anywhere else, make sure you reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and answer your questions. Take care.